Blessed am I for your presence. Thank you.
if you swallowed it. Who was it? Lose something. Polish the family brooch up for my niece, put it down for two seconds, and it's gone. One of the sheep must have swallowed it. That would be one hungry sheep. It was my grandmother's given her by a very wealthy, uh, admirer. How will I get it back without hurting any of my lovely sheep? My brooch! My brooch! Dear heaven, I'll never get it back! Ah, yes! Feed the sheep and see what comes out. <laughs> Gods, how do I find myself doing this? Whoa, what has this sheep eaten? Nothing in there. Nothing. I must continue my search. Whoa, what has this sheep eaten? Nothing in there. Nothing. I must continue my search. Uh, a brooch. Not in very fine condition. Here's your brooch. Woo! That smell would knock over a horse. Just take it. It'll need a wash in, but my niece will be so grateful. Many thanks, stranger. I will not help in this way again. How you imagined it. Hello, stranger. What is this place? Do you like it? My wife and I have constructed it from ancient stones. It is a house of dreams and memories, fashioned from gossamer and summer breezes. It is beautiful. Paula and I have traveled near and far. Oh, the things we've seen and done. When I say far, I mean to distant lands beyond your imagination. Each brick of this castle is a memory from our adventures. You have gathered wisdom from your travels. I have, and it is this. It is all very well to prepare for tomorrow. But do not forget today. Today, this hour, this moment, is a precious gift. Paula and I will look out from our window over the green of England and recall the hours of our travels. From our window, we can relive our adventures. There she is now! I must go to her. I thank you for your words, friend. I believe, is where the Nephilim place sacred stones to guard the Chattel of God from other giants. Those present were scared by demons, and God defended the pious, sending the giants away. Only the... A 
was here. Invisible. Look at this whelp. Not a lot of fight in you, is there? You might be surprised. What do you want? I'd like to do with words what the Corrin deprives my fists. What? I want to have a flighting match. I am ready to duel. My bet. Now speak. Let us see if your skills are a match for your pride. I am feared by all men, be they Northern or Saxon. And your thick little skulls fit for grinding my axe on. Stronger than I thought. Oh, you think you can scare me? I'm tougher than you. Test your might against mine and we'll see how you do. How dare you? Let's dispense with these poems and have a real row. If it's fighting you want, I shall take you on now. You think you're good with words, eh? How about your fists? I will have my winnings, please. Earn them! Now you pay! <sighs> Yourself. I must say I'm impressed. A test for the mind and the body. Take what you've earned. Thank you. I will. to be here, warrior. You'll see a sight rarely seen by any mortals. Have I walked into another realm? 
Ota hits rocks as far as the eye can see! The name's Otto Sluggerson. I usually try to dodge Danes like yourself, but you seem friendly. I saw an angel swallow the last rock you hit. I swear I did, Ota. Mmm. Nothing more sweet than the crack of a good, clean rock hit. Like a warrior's axe cutting through a shield wall. I would like to see this rock hit you speak of. All right. Here's the taste of my fire. Get ready, kids. I'm impressed, Otis Sluggerson. If you want, some try and do the same with their bow. But my best time is hard to beat. I would not want these kids to lose a hero by besting you. I like this, Viking. Kids gather around. Are you sure you want to challenge me? Fine, Oda. I will show these children what a true legend is. Oda, will you sign this stone I kept? Sure thing, kid. Well struck, Dane. Oh, sad shot. Nice one. Well, I'll be. You knocked the straw right out of that dummy belly. Well, well. Twang, twang, twang. You've got some firepower in you. The Danes got a fine shot. Two legends here together. Tell the poets. Thank you, Oda Sluggerson. This game is joyful. If you had a cup of meat and some popped oats, it could be a fine manner of passing time. You're right, Eivor of Raven Clan. Hey, come on back if you ever want to dance again. A terrible death, killed by wolves or something. Nobody read the last rites. I'm stuck in purgatory. Have a heart, Wayfarer. Give a little something to help free me. Give something? A little offering to help a fellow out on my journey to the land of the dead. I'm not fooled by trickery. Do not pester dead people. Fifty pieces of silver will be enough to bring me peace. I will find you, and kill you. Twelve pieces of silver. You'll soon be dead enough. A head of cabbage? I don't have all day, Wayfarer. <laughs> you should know, the dead do not have an abundance of patience. Wayfarer, where are you going? Get back here! The voice of the dead. You appear much livelier than I expected. I tried to swindle you, so what? Life is tough. It's good business being a dead man. Now you are truly dead. Speak all you want. Get on the other side.
in here? Who is this witch that locked you in? A horrible old hag who wants to make me into rabbit stew. Thanks for helping me get out of here. Just look at this mess. The house has been amended. Who is this? I fooled her. I told her you were a witch and you were going to eat me for supper. Well, that's a fine how do you do. It will take me weeks to put this place in order. <laughs> We had a grand time. I am no witch. I am the kindest, sweetest mum to ever lock a lad in a house. How else teach you not to pick your nose? Thanks, stranger. Anomaly 4. Bex, you really have to hear this in here. Two voices, definitely Isu. One of them is Aletheia, I think. From the staff? Yeah. But I don't think these are contemporary. They feel candid. Accidental. I'll keep trying.
ます。Here it comes. Tumbles to ash in the sixth, when the fire has burned out. What did you say to me? No one has ever dared to come all the way up before. What happens now? We fight. You're finished. Why all the saints die? I 
give in. No more shall I challenge everyone. See that you don't. At it again. I thought I shut you up last time. <sighs> you again? Quit stalling. Time has come for you. In nominate Patrice. Any longer. <sighs> this is my hill. Every this madman will not stop. Down there to the airy heights here. You little shit. How many times must I beat you to mush? Oh, just you try! You're finished! Fear got your belly, dog! A fighter. <sighs> Never forget that. I'm tired of defeating you. Oh, it's no pleasure being defeated. The hill is yours. You're the true champion. Something wrong. I'm blind, you idiot. I spoke to you out of friendly concern. My life is shit. I'll never find my way to Clee Hill Spring. Why do you seek that spring? Do you know nothing? The enchanted waters heal people. You just have to show up. But I'll never make it. Unless... Unless you lead me there. Dear Lord, yes. Walk loudly, friend. I'll follow wherever you go. Lead me to Clee Hill Spring. My sight will return. I'll see birds and trees, flowers and clouds. War and squalor as well. Oh, thank you so much for pissing on my dreams. Do me a kindness, would you? Shove something in your gruel hole. The spring I, I give up. It's just it's too nearby. Far. Hurry.
We're here. Clee Hill Spring. What? You expect gratitude? I have stumbled after you over rocks and troughs. Did you slow down? No. I've done what I can. Why do you cry out so much? Oh, sorry, friend. I questioned the Lord in a moment of weakness. I crawled this far, but it seems I will never get to Clee Hill. Why go there? Long ago, St. Milberger's prayers brought forth a miraculous spring bursting forth from the top of that hill. A simple visit cures all ailments. In fact, the spring is the source of this small fall of water right here. What? Are you going to take me to Clee Hill Spring? Oh, thank you, stranger! It is a joyous day! <laughs> I fervently hope I'm not too heavy. Uh, you seem to be of sturdy build. On to Clee Hill and St. Melberger's miraculous spring! that man what uh, who said that I'm right here before you do you mock me I'm blind ah uh, sincere apologies I did not realize I meet nothing but village idiots why do you speak from the ground stand up and greet me proper alas my legs are afflicted I cannot stand what good are you a heap on the ground I see a way you can help one another. Would you please stick a cork in it for two minutes? It's obvious this piddling stream is useless. I'm stuck, blind as a dead dog, with no one to guide me on my way. I have no one to help me get around. Whoa, oh, whoa. Sometimes I almost lose faith. Wait. What? I need someone to lead, and you can see. And I need someone to carry me. Together, we are as one full man. Oh, heaven sent joy! Oh, all because of this Dane! Thank you, stranger. The Nornir work a tangled weave. said you had taken swiftly to the stack of stones. This is impressive. And it can stand hard against the winds as well. Watch! <gasps> <laughs> A burst of blue air that blows to rival New Orleans' noisy belches. Well made, Eivor. But know this. Height is not the only trait of a Cairn's beauty. Shape. Balance and expression are key. Seek a variety of these. Let your only goal in this task be to surpass your own best creation.
angry drunk.
better. What? Dark spirits torment this land.
is wrong. Foul. Cursed. Troll magic. 